Well, some local scientists think they may have narrowed the cause of those earthquakes we've been experiencing here in the Midlands to a river in Kershaw County. Walker Lawson has the details. I'm standing here in the Elgin Lugoff area where over 60 earthquakes have rattled this area since December. But a recent report from the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources says some of South Carolina's leading geologists from SCDNR, the University of South Carolina, and the College of Charleston are exploring factors behind what could be triggering these earthquakes. Their hypothesis is it could be coming from several miles to the northwest at Watery River. Suggesting that the original earthquake back in December allowed water from this river to seep into new cracks that formed, which is now left to tremors shaking the area. When the first earthquake happened, uh, what it may have done is readjusted the system and may have caused uh, more fracture porosity and permeability, greater permeability as a result of that. And each earthquake is changing that system. So, you know, how do you correlate? Ugh, it's a, it, it's, it's, it, it isn't a one-to-one -one thing. So it isn't like the water levels in the river change and that causes an earthquake. Uh, it's, it's just that the proximity of the water uh, may be a way of getting water into the fractures. Scott Howard is a geologist for the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources, and he's one of the four scientists who authorized the report, which was released Monday morning. But again, I, I go back to this point that if you look at the, the history of earthquakes in the southeast and you look at where they occur, about 90% of them are occurring in stream valleys and they're occurring, you know, where there's water. Elgin resident William Pat is glad research is being done after feeling multiple earthquakes. I'm, I'm glad there uh, someone's looking into it a little bit. You know, we're all been a little freaked out about it around here. You know, so again, we wanted to get out some good geologic information about where the geologic community stood on this on this on these earthquakes in Elgin. I'm Walker Lawson News 19 WLTX. Well, the town of Elgin is hosting their earthquake town hall Wednesday the 27th. That's a week from Wednesday where uh, several experts will be to hopefully answer some of the residents questions. The Midlands earthquake swarm started in late December when a 3.3 magnitude quake shook Elgin. Since then, we've seen more than 60 low magnitude earthquakes in the area. The strongest quake so far was on June 29th. It measured 3.6. Geologists believe it may be the longest period of earthquake activity in South Carolina's recorded history. 